should you turn your brand into a social movement? Because it sounds like a lot of the stories, especially the inspirational ones, have turned into a social movement. Should your brand become a social movement? If you're looking to become a modern legacy brand with, with, with that, that kind of influence that's, that's engaged with the public, I think that there's a place for any brand to, to, to do that at some point or another. Maybe it's on a campaign basis. If you look at a company like Red, here's a company that's, that's devoted to eradicating AIDS. And one of the things that they do is they look for the next social movement. So their brand itself is, is something of a social movement itself, eradicating AIDS. But within that, they also look for ways that they can work with major brands like, say, Apple to create a product that people want. So there, there's a kind of a blending of the social movement aspect, the consumer aspect. People get products they want, limited edition you know, opportunities, whether it's an experience or a product. And the organization is able to raise its profile and influence. And then, of course, the, the ultimate result, which is the best result, is that they're driving funding for, for fighting AIDS. Oh, what an interesting way to do that, though. It's a great because I haven't, Yeah, I was, I was going to say I haven't seen anything else done other than red. You know, may get a red laptop or red, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, and they've done a lot of experiences lately, too. So they've worked with brands for products, which is always, I think, will be a success, right? You have a limited edition of something that people love, and you're supporting a cause you want. That's always a good mix. But then um, in the recent years, they've also been able to do things with entertainment and with um, the art world that are particularly inspiring, giving people access um, or a voice in a process that uh, they didn't have otherwise.